Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about Amazon S3 replication. So, without any delay, let's start this session. Amazon S3 replication, that is CRR and SRR for cross region replication and same region replication. At its core of the idea, we have an S3 bucket, for example, in one region. And we want to replicate it asynchronously into another region, into another bucket. So to do so, we first must enable versioning in the source and destination buckets. And then we can set up two different things. Cross region replication, CRR, if the two buckets are in the different regions or same region replication, SRR, if the two buckets are in the same regions. Note that the buckets can be in different accounts. So it is very possible for you to save a copy of your data into another account using S3 replication. The copying happens asynchronously, but it is very, very quick. And for the copying to happen, you need to create an IAM role. We will see in the, in the hands on and that I am role will have the permission from the first S3 bucket to copy through the second S3 buckets. So the use, the, the use cases for cross region replication is for compliance or lower latency access of your data into another region. So or to do cross account replication and SRR. So same reason replication, the use cases could be log aggregation. So you have different login bucket and you want to centralize them into one bucket or leave replication. For example, between a production and your test account. And so here is a fine print about S3 replication. After you activate S3 replication only the new object are replicated so it is not retroactive it, is, it will not copy your existing state of your s3 buckets and for delete operation there is an option setting to tell tell you whether whether or not you want to replicate your delete marker from the source to the target or if you specify the deletion of a specific version id then it is not going to be replicated to avoid malicious deletes. And finally, there is no chaining of replication. That means that if bucket one, one has replication to bucket two, which has replication into bucket three, then any objects created in bucket one will be in bucket two, but will not be replicated to bucket three. So we can not chain your replication. So that's a fine print for S3 replication. Now let's go to hands on to see how that works. Okay, so let's have a play with S3 replication. Here is my S3 console. So I'm going to create a first bucket. So I'll say demo easy AWS origin 2022 and in us east one and here i am going to enable bucket versioning because for replication you need to enable bucket versioning on both the source and the target bucket so we will create those buckets and so this is my first bucket created demo easy aws origin 2022 and it was in us east one but I am also going to create a second bucket called demo easy AWS replica 2022 and this time I am going to choose something like in the or EU waste one for example to replicate my data from US into the EU maybe it is a disaster recovery strategy for US okay so I'll scroll down I will enable bucket versioning again and simply click on create bucket. Okay, so now both my buckets has been have been 
create it so my origin buckets and my replica buckets and now let's open them in new tabs what i want to do is start uploading one object into my demo easy aws origin 2022 so i will upload here the kessel.jpg file and simply upload it here we go and so right now as we can see it is in my demo origin bucket but obviously we have not configured anything so it's not yet in my demo replica bucket okay so for this now i want to set up replication so you need to go into management and here under the management there is replication rules so we can create a replication rule here and i will just call it as demo rule and the rule is enabled and what we do is we can limit this rule to a to a specific scope within the bucket so a subset of objects or we can specify that this rule applies to all objects in the buckets so it is up to you but right now we want to keep it simple so let's apply it to all objects and the buckets next we need to a uh, destination so it could be bucket in this account or in another account so let's choose a bucket in this account now we will browse s3 the demo replica bucket so we'll choose this and as we can see the destination region is now eu west 1 and so this is cross region replication but if the destination region was the same it would be a same region replication for your replication setting okay so finally you need an iam role here to perform this action and so we can just ask amazon s3 to create this role for us which is very nice now in term of advanced setting i'm just not going to check anything we just want to demonstrate the capacity right now so and here the delete mark the delete marker replication right now is disabled so delete markers are not replicated but if you enable it delete markers would be replicated and it will demonstrate this in a second but right now i will leave this as delete marker replication off okay so i will save this and now my replication rule has been created and currently configured so what you would expect is that if we go into the origin bucket we see one object castle.jpg and if we go into the replica bucket here and refresh it well we'll still see zero object here so it turns out that as soon as you enable replication it will not replicate old object for you previous objects so it will only replicate newer objects so how do we fix this well we can upload the castle jpeg file again so let's upload castle.jpeg and simply click on upload now this has uploaded the castle.jpg file here again in my bucket so if i list version now of 2 and you can see we have a new version of this file now if i go to my replica bucket and here refresh it within a few seconds i should be seeing this object popping up and here we go my object has now appeared and we can look at the fact that the version id of this castle the jpeg is the exact same as the version id i have on my origin bucket as you can see so the object is replicated including the object version id and if i upload for example here mountain.jpg it's obvious that if it is also going to be replicated so hopefully this makes sense now let's look about delete so if 
I take my castle.jpg here and delete it. So I'm going to create a delete marker and press and click on delete. So this delete marker that is created is not going to be replicated. So let's prove it to our save. So right now we only have the mountain.jpg in here in the origin bucket. And if I refresh here, I have castle.jpg. So the delete marker did not get passed on to the our replica bucket. And we started from before. This was just a setting in the replicas replication rule. So if we specify, we could also tell Amazon S3 to replicate this delete marker. But this is something you have to opt in by default. And finally, if I list my versions and say I wanted to delete a very specific version of my file. So let's say delete all these files right here. And I will permanently delete this because I am deleting specific version IDs in my buckets. So this is something good to know and definitely a behavior you should be aware of at your exam. Okay. And that's it for replication rules. I would say you can set up different replication rule in your buckets based on different prefix and filters. And you can edit the rule if you wanted to, for example, if you wanted to delete the marker replication as well to enable it. But for now, we will not do it. We show the basic of replication and that should be enough for the exam. So guys, that's it for this session. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next lecture. If you have any doubt or any question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.